We need to produce food in England. We need to produce really good food. So we asked a group of engineers at Dyson what they could do to improve some of the activities on the farm. And um, one of the things we came up with was a vertical growing system. I think this is the biggest rig Dyson's ever made. 24 meters long, five and a half meters tall. Each wheel's 500 kilograms. We did the whole thing ourselves. Every bit of wiring, every nut, bolt, fastener. <laughs> Spent a lot of blood, sweat and tears into this rig the last two years. <laughs> <laughs> it's like having a child, every single bolt I've got a relationship with. We import all our strawberries in England, except in the height of the summer season. So what I've done is to build two huge greenhouses, and from that we can produce the tastiest strawberries you could imagine all the year round. What we're working on here with the, the Dyson engineers is the whole different growing system to get much, much higher density fruit in a covered environment. This is stacking strawberries up across these multiple levels. The challenge you then get is light levels and shadowing and making sure that the leaf and the leaf canopy gets enough sunlight to really develop. By using this system, we're able to move the plants around and make sure every plant gets the maximum natural energy from the sun so we can use as little energy as possible, supplementing that with the LED lights. Growing things is like making things. I'm a manufacturer. And so I suppose in a way I've approached farming from that point of view. You know, how can we make it more efficient? What technology can we bring in that will improve the quality, the taste of the food, use the land better so that we can invest further and make a difference to farming? So this is one of our Dyson-owned sensor packs. We've got a very high accuracy CO2 sensor, relative humidity and temperature. And then on the top there, this is the Apogee PAR sensor. So that detects only the wavelengths that the strawberry plant is interested in and then we know how much we need to top up with our artificial light. We've got this supply system which comes up to the central manifold which splits out and then each five goes to two and we go through into the gutter and then once the water flows through that goes into the drain here which captures the water and this black pipe acts as a dynamic collector. So it hits this ramp and it empties as it goes round and empties into the base station and this gets pumped out. We get a two and a half times uplift in the output of the greenhouses. This vertical growing system will allow farmers to produce the very best food in England and make Britain more secure in its own food production. We've got wonderful land and we should be able to grow everything.